JPEG or PNG? If you're not sure what the difference is, then you might be using them randomly. But actually, there's a huge difference when it comes to your website's loading speed. Here on my desktop, I've got two images. One is a JPEG and one is a PNG, and they look exactly the same. Here I am switching between the two images, and it's the exact same image, and they're both the same dimensions, so they're both 2000 pixels across. However, let's take a look at their size in terms of kilobytes and megabytes, or otherwise known as their weight. Here we can see that panda.png is five megabytes, whereas panda.jpg is only 275 kilobytes. So the PNG image weighs more than 10 times the amount of the JPEG image. So should we always use JPEG? Well, no, it's just that JPEG is a bit better for photographs and PNG is better for different things like anything with text, comics, uh, graphics, logos. And when I explain this sometimes, I like to refer to this comic, which I think is quite clever. And this guy is saying, sometimes PNG is superior. And this guy's saying, nope, always JPEG. But his text is actually a little bit distorted. You see that? That's not a mistake. And that's a little joke on one of the problems with JPEG. The type of compression that JPEG does basically just isn't very well suited to text or to any sort of computer graphics, comics, uh, logos, anything with really straight digital lines. So basically, if you're dealing with any kind of computer graphics, then you should definitely be using PNG and the file size will be acceptable. As you can see, these are logos and both of them, I think, weigh only around 20 kilobytes. This one's 37 kilobytes. So this issue with the huge image size or the weight of PNG files, it only happens when you're saving a photograph as a PNG. But when you're saving a computer graphic as a PNG, then it's fine. It's an acceptable size. You might also have a situation where you have a mix of a photograph and computer graphics in the one image. A good example I can think of is YouTube thumbnails. So as you can see, here's my thumbnail and there's a photo of me and there's also text and there's a bit of a graphic that I created and I want this all to be sharp, right? So maybe I should save it as a PNG. But on the other hand, if I save this as a PNG, the fact that my photograph is in here is going to make the file size huge. So in this case, I would save this as a JPEG. So yes, in general, photographs should be JPEG. But there is one very important exception to this rule. And that is when you need transparency. So let's take a look at this bottle.png. This is an image that has had its background removed. And it needs to be saved as a PNG because JPEG doesn't support transparency. You can't remove the background of images in JPEG. And usually if you try to save an image with transparency as a JPEG, that image will have a background added to it. So as you can see, I just exported this same image as a JPEG and it's had this black background automatically added. Okay, so what if you want to use this type of image with transparency on your website? It's quite a popular design, isn't it? And I think that the best example is probably the Apple Store. They really like to use these kinds of images with uh, the background removed so that the MacBook looks nice and floats on top of the website. So if you're going for this type of design, then yes, you would be using PNG images. You have no choice, really. But won't that make the images really heavy? Won't these images weigh like over a megabyte? Well, actually, yes, they do. We can see that they're using a PNG image here and actually it weighs 1.5 megabytes. So this is a compromise. Obviously, they've made the decision that this kind of design is important enough for them that they're okay with using a very large image size and possibly slowing down the loading speed of their website in exchange for a nicer design. So this is just something that you can keep in mind that design choices can affect your website speed. 
So I hope that helped you understand the difference between JPEG and PNG images. To summarize, in general, you should use JPEG for photographs and you should use PNG for computer graphics. That is unless you need a photograph with transparency or with the background removed, and then you need to use a PNG for it. But remember that it will be heavier than the JPEG version of the same photograph. Now, if you've accidentally saved some photographs as PNG and now you want to convert them to JPEG, uh, I recommend using a tool called Squish. This is what I usually use for compressing images before uploading them to a website. And all you do is take your large image, say this panda.png, which weighs five megabytes, and then you just select which format you want it in. And so Moz JPEG is the default one. And as you can see, it will be exported at 275 kilobytes, which is a 95% size reduction. And then you can just hit this to download. And if you're interested in how you can further compress or optimize your images for your website or your Shopify store, then I invite you to check out my video on image compression for Shopify stores. And you should see the link to that video pop up right about now. So that's all guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.